You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in I mean, that place was insane. When Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fight in history have happened here. On that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. All right hook attempt, no good. So more output at least in the really going. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, tag Great combination to the head. Straight right hand on the counter is good. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been. There's another power take down there. And now is where things could get really interesting. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Johnson. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Johnson gets back up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight and it's the way he set it up that has really leg attempt here nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown another shot here well not sure if i should knock his fight iq but it seems like he's sort of playing around here it feels like the finish is there for the take yeah the finish is there and he needs to take his time to try and find it don't rush be patient and in that patience you'll find the punch or kick that will put For certain. To go, Johnson's in half guard now. now. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays after that round, and he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet. But if he keeps hit, getting hit there, Ready. it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. But we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. cut. A beautiful hook. It landed a hook and it hurt him with the very back. Gets back to his feet. Oh! Oh, oh, right hand. Oh. Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal We might get a stoppage here soon. Maybe if I back. His opponent stand up here. Kick right under that right elbow. This could be it. Oh, man, he's hurt. He's mixing up his target. 
target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. This is a crazy high pace. Oh, that's big. Two shots there. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He is certainly... <laughs> Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. Oh, it's crazy when they ain't got no idea what you've been through just to get to where you're going. Fuck them. Day after day trying to stay out the way, but I still got to pray because I feel like I'm falling. I reach out to God trying to talk on the daily. I know I can't hear him, but still trying to call him. I need a blessing. I feel like I'm stressing. No point of me wristing. I feel like it's stolen. Still ain't gave up with this.